I don't think calling Byron non-human is necessarily fair, but uh, Byron is now currently live and doesn't know about it. He's, there's no communications. He's driving the rover down towards the water. Uh, so if we could cut perhaps to the rover feed, that would be great. There we go. And so what he's doing is, unfortunately, his vehicle is broken at the moment. And so he's currently driving the rover and not doing a very good job of it at all. I'm outside the tent doing my level best to find a few things. And Byron still seems to have no idea that he's alive, which I think is rather amusing. Here we go. He may well break Ronald the rover before the day is out. <laughs> walk around the front of him. This is a little bit like stalking an elephant. He doesn't know he's live, of course, and he seems to have broken the rover now. And uh, uh, let's just move around the side here, see if he knows that he's live. In these positions, what you need to do is test for the wind, of course. Byron, don't say any F words, because you've been live for the last five minutes or so. Hi. Everyone's yeah. been, oh, you knew. That's mm. very unfortunate. How did you know? I heard it, James. He's a quiet <laughs> around, and my ears are very, very sharp. Um, as you can see... Talk into here, Byron. As you can see... Yes? I am pretending to be you, James. Yes. I'm driving the rover. <laughs> see, <laughs> and what have you found? Grass. Grass. <laughs> And I'm going to pretend to be you. Can you identify the grass there? <laughs> no, James, I cannot. <laughs> That's a pity. You should have studied harder. I know, but <laughs> my teacher was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is dreadful. Okay, we, uh, Byron, by the way, is in the tent, as I said, because he broke Jigger uh, before he'd even got out. And so, unfortunately, he is now having to drive the rover in order to sort while they fix it. I think I am in the jungles of the Congo. Yes. The rover. Have you not I managed to find the water yet? <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, you're not moving forward. You look like you're in the movie Ants. Yes. I'm moving forward slowly. The rover is... There we go. Now, you see, I cannot get the tech department to put this thing next to the water, unfortunately. They insist on placing it in amongst the grasses. There, you nearly there. It looks to me like you've almost made it through. Yeah, and you will, you, it will feel, you will, the relief you will feel when you break through those bushes will be really fairly insurmountable. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> that may have been the wrong word to use. Are you through yet? Not yet. Almost. Okay. Well, I tell you what. Why don't you put that under the microscope and see if you can find yourself a thrip? <laughs> can you find a thrip, Byron? I'm looking. Hmm. It needs to be under the microscope. You can't do it with your eyes. They're very small. Stop shouting at me, Joe. I'm sorry, Byron. It's just that sometimes I feel you don't listen to me. I do listen to you. Oh, I have not found one. But my focus oh is so much. We're better. on blurry safaris. No, we're not.
Oh dear, back to Byron. You know that you've been scolded silently by the final control when suddenly the microscope feed clicks back to your face because you're so blurry. Well, James, you gave me something sans <laughs> <laughs> Apparently this plant is sans thrip. <laughs> Would you focus on something, please? All I can see, yeah. see is blurry safaris. Yeah, hairy, hairy thrips. There are no thrips in there. I told you. Thrip looks like an earwig, but isn't one. There we are. We're now on the microscope feed. Yes. See if you can spot an aphid. We must just uh, apologise slightly for the, uh, what? There, Where? Moving. Over there does not help people sitting in the United <laughs> States of America. There's he there is not going hang to be on. any help at all. Hang on, hang on, we'll get it. There's some. There is something moving to the right hand side of the. That's very good. That is an aphid, I think. Yes. Well spotted, Byron. That's it. Now, word on the Bush Telegraph is the jigger is now repaired and that it would be best for you to leave the tent immediately at your earliest convenience and go and drive away on Drigger. I'm off. I am off, James. Goodbye, Baron. <laughs> We're going to head across to Taylor now. He's knocking about here in the bush. I don't know what she's finding, but maybe it's something cool. Maybe it's just nothing. <laughs>